Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 4. When we last left off, we defeated the right-hand man of Salazar. Uh, yeah, quite an interesting fight. We are uh, in a bit of a difficult situation. <sighs> Got so many of these wonderful rifle rounds, but sadly, they are never going to be welcome. used. Welcome, straight. Ooh, we've got a. Things on sale, stranger. We what have an interesting it? room here. Should I just sell the rifle ammo? See, the thing is, is that all? If I sell it, it's gone forever. Whereas if I hold on to it, is then maybe when we play Thank one more you. round, we'll have lots of rifle ammo. Uh, I don't actually know how. You everything carries over to be honest uh to a Love new game plus especially time. if you're playing on professional difficulty do you get like all of your stuff if you play on professional difficulty or do you have to unlock everything again right so that's still missing one okay well let's start harvesting up some of the stuff shall we Nice, got another green herb. Definitely like some green herbs. Ooh, and we got a spinel as well. Spanel, spinel, whatever the fuck all. Take some of that. Now, sadly, we'll have to leave the merchant. Actually, should we? Eh, guess we'll heal ourselves just a little bit. You alright there, buddy? How's it hanging? Welcome. For this game, you need to use the weapons that I've selected. Yeah, we're going to go for sniping, because we always go for sniping. Okay, this is the only ch way we're going to get a rifle anyway, so... Uh, I think we're on game C, if memory serves. Alright, let's try all the power of our accurate brain. Come on. Got ya. Kind of, but not really. Come on. How do we do? I think that's a not a bad little exchange. Certainly could have been worse, that's for sure. Reasonably happy with that. As long as we keep getting those Salazar medals. We missed one target. Hey! <laughs> I mean, we got five of the prizes. Five out of a possible six, so I'll uh, I'll take that. Almost wasted Ashley there. Not sure how much of a sad moment that would have been. Bit of a fantasy, if you ask me. Oh, that was terrible. That was absolutely useless. If I say so, my... Oh, come on, Leon. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Not bad. Yeah, that definitely could have been better. Hey, we've got everything we need. Cool. So, that should be the third row completed. Definitely significantly easier with the mouse and keyboard. So, if we do that you've been awarded six yeah third row is now complete did we do the second row i can't actually remember i'm gonna say we probably did yeah yeah we're not gonna like look at them again because we always look at them um okay now let's continue all right well should we save ah hello what's this Louis Momo II, the first Castellan, uh, Castellian 
buried the last plague deep underground, below the castles that hide their very existence. But when Salazar realized that the last released the last plague, no one thought he could bring them back to life because when Salazar found them, they were all just fossilized remains. Everybody knew that the parasitic organism could not survive without the hosts that they couldn't sustain life on their own. But when Salazar and his men excavated the remains, it almost appeared as if the last plague were just waiting to be discovered so they could resurrect. Several years later, unexplainable convulsions started occurring amongst the villagers who helped with the excavation of the last plague. Then one day, all of a sudden, these villagers turned into violent savages. They later found out that it was caused by the last plague. Although they appeared fossilized, they were able to survive the long years by laying dormant in a state, uh, laying in a dormant state at the cellular level, remaining in a spore-like form. Apparently, during the excavation, the villagers inhaled the spores, with, and within their bodies, the parasites became active again. This is how the last plague were resurrected. Even as I'm writing, the excavation of the last plague continues. God only knows how many of these plagues have been resurrected, not to mention the countless number of granados that have been created. Their inhumane activity must be put to an end. If they are not stopped, people around the world could turn into victims of this crazy cult organization. Yeah, well, good thing old Leon's here, isn't it? Right, let's go. Uh, what are we looking at here? Let's keep going. Oh, hey guys. Tempted as it is to break out the old uh, shotgun, not really worth it. Let's kick these. Unfortunately, villagers, you can't suplex. I'm not sure why you can't suplex the villagers. Kind of sucks. Right, you can burn. Yeah, I have no idea why you can't suplex villagers. It's really strange. Whether it's because they're classed as like low level enemies, I don't know. Now we should. Oh, nice. Get a couple of nades here. We're going to need to hold on to these explosives now. Because we're getting a little bit close. Ah, there is one thing. Uh. No, we're good. Okay, we still have the map. I was wondering if we'd lost the treasure map now, but no, we're good. Right. Well, warning. Apparently, danger. Man fall down. Kind of warning. Alright, noted. Um. Yeah, looks like we've got a lot of bad necks down there. Also, I'm sure. Ah, yes. So I'm sure there's treasure back here. Uh, okay. Anyway, um, let's keep moving forward, shall we? Now this looks delicate, doesn't it? Well, I suppose. We're just going to jump straight into the mix and see what happens. I mean, how bad could it possibly be? Give you a kick. Shoot, kick, shoot, kick. Hopefully, we can avoid getting kicked from behind. Ow. Thanks, dude. Dude. Yeah, depth perception is kind of strange in this game. Like, you think you're okay, and then you get shot in the face. Right, let's kick you the fuck back. Really don't want to be dealing with you. Oh, God. Ow, you fuck. One bullet to the knee. Uh-oh. Don't want this guy. Causing us too many problems. That's the way to deal with him. Ooh, red herb. Don't mind if I do. 
At least these villagers are pretty basic. And because they're pretty basic, they're pretty weak. Go down. On your knees, son. Surprised we haven't had any more advanced enemies yet. No? Okay. Well, let's grab some treasure. That's nearly 3,000 potatoes. Probably going to come in handy a little bit later on. All right, what do we have? Oh, that isn't all of them. Of course not. Let's get rid of him. Now, I know... Ah, there's more up there too. These plagas on the rocks appear to be fossilized. Just how old are these things? Yeah, let's not think about that too much, Leon. Um... Wait, what? Okay, not really sure what happened there. Delete generally doesn't just instantly quit out of the inventory. At least it never has done to us before. Right, get on your knees, or at least on your back, so I can murder you. Thank you. Thought you were going to be really greedy then for a minute. But I will take this gold. Would have rather it been shotgun shells, but I guess I'll take what I can get. Oh, you have TNT. I guess we can't set the TNT. Oh, you. Not sure how he instantly sparked that TNT in his hand there. But whatever. What? Ever. Now. Operate. Just the circuit breaker. Electricity is being supplied. There's no need to operate this anymore. Oh, okay. Fine. Whatever. But we do need to find ourselves some TNT. Which I'm pretty sure. Ah. That's going to be another one of those, which I suppose will help us in following playthroughs. Yeah, let's pull that. Nice. Artfully done. Said nobody. Uh, Alright, looks like we've lost power to the elevator, because of course we have. Uh, where are these dick bags coming from? Ah, oh, he's a bloody TNT. Dude, you really don't need that TNT. Honestly, man. You really don't need it. Now, were you the only one here? I'm gonna say no, because the music's still playing. Alright, let's turn the circuit breaker back on. Anybody going to uh, put their two cents in? Anyone? Or should I say, there are two potatoes. Oh, You. You might put your two potatoes in. We'll deal with you. Oh, hello. Looks like Dr. Salvador's back. This is a very interesting turn of events. Unfortunately, with the weapons that we have, Dr. Salvador is actually a very real threat. So let's, for now, switch over to the shotgun. Which will definitely... make a bit more of a mess of him. Let's get some more shells in that thing. Really don't want to waste my shells on you guys. I think we got him. You can piss off. Nope, we did not get him. Oh! He's a live one. He's a live one. Okay. That could have gone better. But it could have gone worse too. So, you know. Swings and roundabouts. Ah, and you're back. 
Well, you're going to have a bad day. You're going to have a very bad day. At least, I'm hoping you're going to have a bad day. Um, now, I can't remember what we have to do. Ah, right, yeah, we just literally pick it up. All right. Fire in the hole, asshole. Now let's go stick this huge bundle of TNT in the hole. And get the fuck out of dodge. There we go. You really want any of you you really want this, son. You really want this. Is that what you want? You disappointed me. I was hoping you was gonna try and blow fire in my face. Very disappointing. I'll take your potatoes though. Now, what's next? Ooh, magnum rounds. Don't mind if I do. And a nade. Excellent. Alright, let's load up the broken butterfly. Ooh, had a bit of stutter there. Is 8 cores 16 threads not enough for this game? Oh boy. Oh boy. We remember this room, don't we? Now this is going to be interesting. Ah, uh, this is going to be painful. I may not survive, but hey, we've got a flash grenade, so there's that. Yeah, this is going to be very eye-watering. So we've got the zip line up there as well, which will slide down to over there. Okay. Okay, this room looks like it's probably quite warm. Hello, you. Hello. Oh, God. Right. Well. Let's get one of you done straight away. Now, sadly, as good as that is, he's still going to be pretty angry for a while. Hopefully that door will close before too long. Now, sadly, if we do it that way, uh, if we won't get the... Um, oh, we can't actually manually... There we go, that's shut now, cool. Yeah, if we do it that way, we won't get all of the jewels and gems and stuff that we could potentially get from this, but it is what it is. Anywho, let's start this old chestnut, shall we? Now, this should be a nice, reliable way of dealing with this dickhead. Okay. I think we're potentially just pissing him off, to be honest. But it is what it is. Alright. Come on, you big old bag of penises. Now, we're going to try and flash the guy. But, I honestly don't know how effective that's going to be. Yeah, so if you kill both of those guys legitimately, just with lots of bullets, you can actually uh, claim two rewards here. But, yeah. Needs must when we're playing with these pathetic pussy weapons. Ooh, okay, this is going to hurt. Yeah, this is going to hurt. You know... And I think we're just wasting way too many handgun bullets on this guy. So, let's see. We'll try and drop him with a nade. And then... Nope. Okay. We need to do a little bit more damage to him. Don't think the shotgun is actually that effective. Ow. No. The shotgun's way too feeble 
to actually do much against them. Although, whilst he's stunned like that, we could eat that. Throw that at his feet. That should drop him down. And then, let's try. Yep, it's too far out. You, what you need to do, you can actually pull that off. I've watched loads of videos on that now. But you need to have the flash grenade bounce off something. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work like that, sadly. But, you know, hey, worth the experimentation, I guess. Or was it, though? Was it worth it? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Right. Let's try and bring him down. Not enough. Not enough damage was inflicted. Uh oh. Ooh, yeah. That was savage. Uh oh. Ow. Thought we could get out of it then before he decided to put his big old foot down on our brain. But not quite. Okay. Okay. Um, Leon, thank you. Yeah, unfortunately that bit of experimentation has cost us dearly. Cost us a lot of equipment. And we've got nothing to show for it. But, it was worth a go. If we could knock him down close to one of these walls, we can actually bounce the flashbang off. You need it to bounce. From my experimentation. Because... Uh, otherwise, it will land behind him. The fuse is too long. Come on. Yeah, this handgun is absolutely fucking useless. Absolutely useless. Oh, God. Okay, it's just keep wailing on him some more. We could use the Magnum, but we're going to need the Magnum later on. Dude, I don't know if we've got enough equipment to actually handle this guy. I think we might have screwed ourselves over, to be honest. Right. Oh no, we didn't want to jump down. We wanted to use a zip line, you absolute knobhead. Leon. Oh, God. This is just fucking miserable. It really is. Oh, okay. I, why would you limit yourself to this? Apart from because you're a moron. Oh, man. Like, it just nothing hurts him. Like, nothing we have hurts him. We could use the RPG, but again, we're going to need to leave our options open for later. Yeah, look at that. Like, literally. It it does nothing. Oh, um, and we've used all of our handgun bullets. We might actually have to retry this, to be honest, and just be a little bit more tactical with using our grenades. Yeah. Let's retry. Okay, let's retry that, because that's just too costly. So what do we actually have here? We're gonna we'll knock him down with the grenades. Uh and then we'll slice him. Okay. Oh these weapons, man. Oh god. Okay. I mean we could try the flash technique again. But ugh. Nah. Right, come on you ugly son of a bitch. Okay, I don't know what Leon was doing there. He just kind of fucking jibbed out. Strange. Right, there goes one. So, one's gone. Now this guy... He's a little bit salty about what's just happened. I guess. Right. Now let's... Try and stay out of range of the other dude. Because if you do get too close, 
what before that um, lid comes back up. He will pull you in. And you're gonna have a bad time. Okay, I think... Yeah, it's shut now. Cool. Right. So. Um... Oh yeah, the devices. I was gonna say, can you use that twice? No, you can't. That would be way too powerful if you could use that twice. Like seriously powerful. All right, come on. No. How many nades does it take? Okay. Okay, he has to be at least weakened now, right? He has to be weakened now. Yeah, thanks, dude. You've just stunlocked me twice. That's really kind. Okay. If we don't heal, we're dead. Potentially dead anyway. Oh my god, like, can you... Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, I guess we just... Uh, do we really want to waste the Magnum on this thing? Such an incredible waste of ammo. We definitely need to keep our... Um, can we just run past this guy? Because, like, this isn't worth it. I'm going to say we can't run past this guy. This just really isn't worth it. Nope. Got to kill the giants. Okay. Right, reload. So. I mean, the handgun is literally doing nothing to it whatsoever. Like, we literally might as well be pissing at this thing. I'm not convinced we've got enough ammo to do it. But, we shall see. We've got enough time to reload to get a few bullets off. Right, okay, he's gone down. So this is his first collapse. Climb. Now, bearing in mind, we have to do this three times. 100% not convinced we have enough ammo. But, I don't know, Chief. Let's just keep going. We might actually have to use our grenades. Uh, I'm not sure if the flash grenades will actually bring him down. Fla I wonder if a flash grenade will actually bring him down once. That I'm curious about. No. No, flash grenade does not actually bring him down, but it does allow you to stun him. Which, eh, I guess. I mean, it's better than... It's better than somebody on the street spitting in your face, I suppose. Okay. But it's still not exactly easy to get hits on his head. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this guy is literally going to drain all the ammo. Can you imagine if you couldn't easily kill that other guy? Holy fuck. Seriously. I don't know how you do it, honestly. I honestly don't know how you do it. I mean, imagine doing this on uh, professional. Uh oh. I think I'd rather eat my own face than do this on professional. Okay. I mean, I don't mean do this on professional with weapons. I mean do like the no upgrade run on professional. In fact, I'd probably rather drink my own piss 
Anyway, let's keep reloading. Let's just keep running. Keep running. Uh, I suppose we'll go up here, take the zip line down. That will give us a good amount of clearance. Right. Now, this should give us the most amount of time to get some shots off. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, man. Like, is that not enough bullets in the face to drop him down? What happens if we run out of ammo? What do we do? No, seriously, like, what do we do if we run out of ammo? I'm guessing there ain't gonna be any more. Uh, well, we, I mean, we don't have a choice. We have to use the Magnum. We literally don't have a choice. I mean, he takes three shots from the Magnum. Holy fuck. And now it's C, not X. Lovely. Okay, so. How are we doing? I guess we're just going to keep climbing up the ladder and zip lining down. Right, let's go. We are going to use the Magnum up here just because it really is our own choice. I can't actually tell if that hit him. Going to assume it hit him. Right, come on. Go up. Luckily, he'll patiently wait for us to do that. Now, this presents an interesting problem. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brilliant, Leon. Yeah. Yeah, let's make the shoot button a dodge button. Ow. Uh, oh, we've got no health. Cool. That's cool. That's really cool. I like that. That's fun. Okay. Climb up the ladder. Go down the zip line. Right, reload, and then we're probably going to go for another cycle. Because I don't think we're going to have time to hit him again before he gets right up our ass, which we don't. Okay, climb up, zip line down, rinse and repeat. Okay, hopefully. Oh, great, 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 great. Oh, fucking hell. Run. 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 God, I forgot how awfully Leon controls. Controls like a tank. Oh. Oh, God. Well, it, I wouldn't say it's awfully controlled. It's just he's not designed to control very well for these sort of situations. It's kind of like... You know, swimming through a thick slurry of shit. Come on. Come on. There we go. Are we having fun? Is this fun? We get two shots off before we have to go up the ladder and zip line down. Well, Leon, I hope you're getting paid a lot of money. That's all I can say. Uh-oh, here he comes. Yep, and now we don't really want to stand here whilst he beats our ass up. It's just the mindless repetition of it. Repetition of it, I should say. Oh, God. It's literally... Leon, you'd probably do more damage if you spat at him, honestly. Take a leaf out of a monkey's book and throw your shit at him. 
definitely would do more damage. Oh, fuck me. Do we have any, like, shots left? We do. We've actually got quite a few. I mean, we do have the nuclear option. We could use the RPG, but... I mean, this is just... This is just silly. Oh, he's going to get us because he's charging. Nope, we're okay. We're okay, but we are stuck between his legs. Literally stuck to the point where Leon wouldn't move. Okay, come on, come on. Really don't want to have to use my RPG. Come on, Leon. Come on, Leon. Come on, shoot the big man in the face with the shotgun. Ugh. This, uh, this, this is illustrating, like, perfectly how this game is not designed for a challenge like, well, I, I mean, I guess it's not designed for a challenge like this. People come up with these challenges to add extra challenge, but I don't think the game design is ever intended for this. Okay. I mean, I suppose that's stating the obvious, but... Here he comes! Do the dodge! Yay! Shoot him in the ass. Probably just killed myself. I have just killed myself. Nope, we're apparently not dead. I don't know how we're not dead, but we're not dead. Small mercies, maybe? Let's reload. And let's run through his legs again. Guess what we're going to do? Guess what we're going to do? We're going to go up the ladder again. And then we're going to go down the zip line again. Ah, Jesus Christ. And now we're going to shoot him with the shotgun again. Ah, oh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Like, he can't take many more shots, surely. Surely? Right? Really? I mean, he must be almost, like, in a stunned state. Thank fuck for that. Right, let's do this. This is where we find out that we actually have to do it four times. No, we do not have to do it four times. Right, that was actually pickled anus. Oh, that was dreadful. Okay. Uh, kind of need to go save it now. That really took a very long time. Can we go back and save it? Because I don't have time to continue. Well, I'm kind of going to have to go back and save it. Yeah, we should be able to go back. I guess we can buy a FA spray off the merchant. That's not an upgrade, is it? And... I don't fucking care either way. Now that was just... That was just... Monotonous. Absolute monotony. And we've used literally everything we have as well, which is going to be problematic. Welcome. Oh, okay. Right. Things on sale, stranger. What are right. you Give me, give me, give me the the fucking. Where is it? First aid is spray. Apparently, there's two available. Right. <laughs> give me another old? first aid spray then. <laughs> Come back. Oh, because believe it or not, we're gonna need that. Oh, that's better. So, we've taken those two guys out. They're, they're not fun when you have no weapons. They're really not fun when you have no weapons. 
Oh, that was just endurance. My God. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> oh, how could this possibly get more monotonous? Find out in the next exciting episode of Resident Evil 4. Till then, guys. Thanks for watching.